killed 11 people, and the political fallout continues this week. Lawyers sued Philadelphia Mayor Wilson Good on behalf of a 15-year-old member of MOVE, the only child to survive the police attack. This lawsuit comes just a week before Good runs for renomination in the Democratic primary for mayor. And while he is heavily favored to be the Democratic candidate in the fall, he could face an old adversary. And his first term has been marked by turmoil. When Good was elected, he was praised as the role model of a new black politician, the skilled professional, the highly trained executive who could manage a city, black or white. And I intend to be the mayor of all the people in this city. You know, if you ask me something he's done right, I couldn't tell you. The streets are filthy. There's no pride anymore. There's no leadership. Uh, I, I don't know one thing that he's done properly. Grizzo is one of three major candidates trying to take Good's job away. It has been a tough four years for this 48-year-old son of a sharecropper. It was not at all what many of his early supporters expected. His decision to authorize a police bombing of the radical black organization MOVE touched off a firestorm which leveled 61 homes, killing six adults and five children. His own commission blamed Good and his aides. There is just absolutely no excuse for the deaths of those children. Last summer, there was a long, bitter garbage strike. I am angry. This is, the, this is where our country started. And look at it. It's a pig pen. And there is a continuing controversy over how to dispose of the thousands of tons of garbage that pile up in Philadelphia every day. And corruption, the latest example. A grand jury has accused the good administration of gross mismanagement and incompetence in allowing contractors to steal more than $200,000 as they rebuilt homes destroyed in the move bombing. All of this leaves Wilson good on the defensive, but he believes the worst is behind him, especially the move bombing. It was something that was designed to go well that went totally wrong, uh, and it will live with me for the rest of my life. Uh, I think when you go back, however, and look at uh, the overall management of our city, all my surveys show uh, that about 60% of the people approve the way we do our job. Philadelphia is doing better economically. The skyline reflects the renewed prosperity of this historic city. But recent economic forecasts suggest the boom now is leveling off. And the city's leading newspaper, the liberal Philadelphia Inquirer, has decided that Wilson Good does not deserve re-election. I think the people want their city managed well. They understand that it's difficult. They don't expect miracles, but they do expect to see an effort made and uh, uh, without an, an enormous amount of corruption and uh, ineptitude and inefficiency. So the Inquirer has endorsed Good's opponent in the primary, former District Attorney Edward Rendell. But if the current polls hold up, Good will win the Democratic primary and likely face his old nemesis, Frank Rizzo, the former police chief and two-term mayor who is now a Republican. Thanks a million, Manny. You did a hell of a job, Manny. How you doing? Will race become the dividing line? Uh, I don't think race will be the issue. Race is always a factor. It should never be the issue in the campaign. I'm going to get a good percentage of that black vote. All I've done all my life is help people as a policeman and as a mayor. That's the reason I'm running. Mayor Wilson Good hopes that this Philadelphia spring will be a time of renewal for his career. But however he emerges from the Democratic primary, it promises to be a stormy summer and fall in his quest to retain control of City Hall.